What's going on everybody, Matt here bringing you guys another video this week. And this is on the John Wayne Gacy, I guess, clown uh, sheep mask for Eric Rowan. Um, this is one of the variants that he wore uh, before switching straight to the uh, the gas mask version. Um, which I have a video of. The, uh, the link for it will be at the end of this video. Um, so yeah, this is just a different different version of the sheep. That I wanted to knock out actually from my, my buddy Tom. He uh, hit me up and was like, you know, the gas masks are really cool, but you know, there's another version that would be even cooler, or I guess more different. And uh, yeah, he brought me a bunch of pictures of this, and we've actually been talking to the original guy who made Eric Rowan's masks, who helped Tom Savini uh, work on a bunch of different variations and versions and things like that. Um, so yeah, this is just a latex sheep that has been hand painted. Um, all the cuts and scars and everything all hand painted. Um, the mouth and eyes have both been hand painted. The lines around those have been hand painted. The only thing not hand painted on this mask is the white base coat and the pinks on the cheeks. So other than that, everything on this mask has been hand painted and, you know, just done the old fashioned way, I guess. Uh, this mask is actually incredibly thick. This is one of the thicker, um, th thicker casts that I've poured from making these. Uh, latex is still a little bit wet, so just don't don't pay too much attention to that. But with latex and the hair in here, and latex and the stitches from the elastic, which you can see the lines there and there. Uh, but yeah, so it also had like a faux sheep ear attached and which is one of the reasons why there is a lot of hair up in this one corner. Um, there's a little bit more on it than I think the original had, but given time and of course all the hairs that I couldn't get punched in there, um, this will actually thin down quite a bit and can be cut and trimmed pretty much just like regular hair. Um, all of it's hand punched, so it's it was a little bit more of a process to finish but uh yeah overall i think it looked pretty good we got the the dark orange in the inside ear uh of course i'll put some pictures up during this video to show you guys kind of what i was going for um but yeah it's got the i uh, went for the more worn look um we got a picture a bunch of pictures of what it looked like before it was worn um and i kind of went with like a mix of both just so that way um tom could get a better display piece um, as you can tell, I put the little gray worn areas over the eyes and on the mouth. Again, of course, using photos for reference. And then the big difference between this is I went ahead and glossed over it to make it look fresh and new. Um, and I put a lot more hair in the ear just to give it, again, that new, that brand new, uh, fresh, ring-ready mask look. Um, overall, I like this mask a lot. Uh, it was definitely different. It's a lot easier to do than the gas mask is, obviously, but um, nonetheless, it's still one of the versions. So, uh, as far as I know, there's not any more versions that I've not done other than the standard sheep with the fake ear. I'm pretty sure there's one more version that's not similar to either or. Um, it was just the regular sheep with the fake ear. Um, it was short. It was used at, like right after the plastic sheep had been destroyed. Um, I'm pretty sure. I'll have to look up um, to make sure 100%. That way, I'm not just throwing info out there. But that's pretty basic. Um, it's not really one of the bigger ones, so I don't really see the need in covering it. Obviously, if you want it, that's fine. These are very limited. Um, I'm not going to be doing these all the time. It's more of a first come, first serve basis, and price just depends on what you want. Um, there's no set price for them. Um, I've got prices and stuff set for them on my Etsy store, but the prices that I have are for set designs. There's not like a bunch of different variations and stuff. Um, and I won't go, I won't stray far from the pictures that go with the um, listings. So yeah, uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Um, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, give me a thumbs down. Let me know how I'm doing. And uh, yeah, I guess that's going to do it. I'll do a little, a nice pan of what this mask looks like on an armature. Um, and probably a couple of warm shots once the latex dries. So we'll see you guys in the next one.